That's right. It's almost the freaking weekend. Yes. yes. We made it to Friday, all of us. I think we should celebrate, don't you, ladies? Yes. 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 But you know, we don't celebrate regular old Fridays here at the Real. Nope. Uh -uh. We celebrate Friday. Yes. Did she drink before no, we did? No, I didn't. Wait till I announce okay. the drink. Okay. Today's Friday drink <laughs> is the perfect <laughs> beverage to sip as the week draws to an end. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. grapefruit sunset, which is a mix of grapefruit juice, lime juice, club soda, Ooh. sugar, salt, and tequila. Love it. Yes. Yes. To find out how to make this yes. cocktail or mocktail, head on over to thereal.com. Now who's ready for some Friday girl chat? Cheers! 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 Cheers. 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 Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm. Refreshing. Mm. Okay, there are lots of things in life that are contagious, right? Like yawning or a cold. Mm -hmm. But here's something you probably didn't think you could catch. Divorce. Mm. According to a study conducted across three U.S. universities, divorce can actually be contagious. The study found that you're 75% more likely to divorce your partner if at least one member of your close friendship circle ends their marriage. Mm -hmm. Relationship counselor, <laughs> this is real close to home, people. Yeah. Relationship counselor Dan Arbach says that when our friends separate, we tend to notice similar cracks in our relationships we might not have seen before. So, ladies, do you think that there's any truth to this? Because ugh, it is really close to home. It's, it's awkward for me to say it, but I do... I'll let you guys go first, and I'll well, tell you what I do, I've noticed. I do think that there's some truth to this, to this, if the relationship is already on the brink of divorce. Yes. Because if you see your friend actually moving on, and she's happy, and you know that she can do it, maybe you think you can do it yeah. as well. Yes. Might but, give you the strength to make that move as absolutely, well. Absolutely. Right. But I think you have to be having those issues in the first place. Yes. That's when I think it's contagious. Totally. Otherwise, I don't think that's true. Hmm. Yeah, I okay. think this is absolutely true, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. Because I think that uh, the saying that says you have to be careful about who you surround yourself and the influences that you have, because mm -hmm. the same way that divorce can rub on you, so can love. If you surround yourself and you're in a relationship and you start hanging out with other couples that are madly in love with each other, that enjoy each other's company, that can actually spark something in yourself to say, yeah. man, I want to get that, I want that old thing back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could want to uh, spark that again in your relationship. But what I will say is, I try not to hang out with bitter bitches because that does rub off on that. <laughs> now, let me explain what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Yo. I'm not being funny. There are some women that get together and all they do is man bash. They'll be like, he ain't nothing. This one's there. Yes. This one did this to me. And you literally, as a woman, I think our natural instinct is to have empathy for one another and we carry each other's burden. So when you sit in a circle of women that is men bashing, then you go home to your man, you got a nasty attitude. You already looking at what'd you do? I already know. <laughs> Y'all ain't nothing. Da -da -da -da. Men are whack. You guys are terrible human beings. Like just you come home with this animosity and that absolutely can stir up issues within your relationship. Yes, this is true. Go ahead. Do you what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but like, you're di you just got divorced. Yeah. yeah I'm that's newly married. That's all I hear what you got to I'm say. I'm newly married. She's yes. been married. Yeah. But you're not, you're not negative in you're general. You're not. Yes. So I hear what you're saying. That absolutely exists when it comes to bitter bitches. <laughs> but there's also people who just divorce because that's the end all of their marriage. For yes. sure. So, Either way, the conversation is, can divorce rub off on you? I notice now that all of my friends, when it comes to a struggle in their marriage, depending on the, you know, the degree, whether it's really light or it's major, they come to me and they start complaining. And it's almost like when you're in that, that marriage funk, you start to almost ask permission to see if giving up is okay. Okay, mm -hmm. now if you're married, you'll feel me on this. To vent? Yes, to vent and to also hear like, are we gonna make it? Is this bad? You almost look to the person who's divorced to say signs like, girl, this is how my relationship ended. This is the, the, the mm -hmm. end, you know, the beginning to the end. And it, it, I made a very, very strong rule after I got out of our divorce that I'm going to talk to my friends about marriage, not about divorce, because I believe in marriage. That is you. That I believe in marriage That's wholeheartedly. That's that positivity yes. you were talking yes. about. Yes. You're not negative. You're not the type of person to sit there and be like, Oh, girl, that's the sign. Yes. Don't project what happened in your relationship right. onto yes. me. Right. Like, don't, you are not that person. And, but there are a lot of people that are that way that will actually start pointing out to well, you the things that's Well, they say misery wrong. loves company. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That from, you know. You I just don't believe be that number. They say, you know, yeah, if one person gets... percent Yeah, that's like, if one person gets yeah, divorced, that then that you about all... to get next, you no. about to get... And I just don't nah, believe man. that 
But also, you're such a positive person. Yeah. I think that if you love somebody and it's, the marriage is strong, you just talk to your partner first instead of going outside of the marriage and yes. talking about the problems. Exactly. Talk about it. With you the know, person. This is coming I from agree. a single person. Yes. So, you and know. if your friends at all swaying you towards diver divorce, don't listen to that person. You gotta talk to other people who are fighting for your marriage first. Yeah. Those are also the people you should have invited to your wedding. Okay. Those are the people that yeah. should be in your unity and your committee. And if they're urging you to divorce, then take a beat from that person because you don't want that devil to get a little pinky toe in your life. Yes. That little toe is gonna control your, your mind and your Let emotion know. and yep. you make bad decisions from that. Well, you know, you may think your love is strong, but a new study from the Council of Contemporary Families recently revealed that one household chore that could end up ruining your relationship is doing the dishes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, no a way. lot of people are agreeing here. That's why. It was a study, y'all. The study found that it becomes a big issue when the woman is the only one who does them. Yeah. Not only no, were these true. women less satisfied yeah. with their relationship, they were also found to have more conflict and less sex than couples who split dish duty. So, ladies, would you break it off with your man if he didn't like to get his hands dirty? Dishes wise, they I would need to get break plastic plates, the, man. Yeah, the relationship off. Wait, I why? I would just be just annoyed often. Because to me, washing dishes, I just don't like doing really? it. Really? It's so annoying. Yes. It's, especially if you're doing it all the time. I don't know. Maybe my mom was, you know, really, really strict with us. We grew up cleaning everything. I mean, toilets, the things behind the toilet, dishes. So I'm just, I'm just annoyed doing it all the time. But I thank God. I have a husband, not only who knows how to do the dishes, but who knows how to load the dishwasher. Ooh, that's a good one. Some people are so Ooh. sexy. And also, when he sweeps that floor, you see those calves and you see his arms. Yes. Oh, my God. And you guys, okay, is that's it enough. that that's, just gave me a big orgasm? Wait a minute, you guys. What? My, yes. What is happening? Oh, my gosh, you guys, and this is recently. He just organized the pantry. I was like, with baskets and with the little labels, the chalk labels. If that don't turn you on, I don't know what will. I'm telling you, girl. Wow. It was so sexy. Yeah. Now this is know why I, I drink. This is <laughs> why I drink. Wow, and now I know why you have two kids. Girl, dang, you're yeah. not no. like organizing I'm, up your house. I'm telling you, oddly enough, I actually think that doing the dishes is therapeutic. Like, you literally, do. like, just being there and just, like... No. Getting the I stuff that's no. been stuck on the no. plate for a really long time? Well, I don't let the dishes stay that, like, it, it's just us. So your like, husband doesn't do that? He does. He'll, he'll load the dishwasher. He doesn't okay. wash dishes. Oh, okay. you know, she's right about you that, like though. Doing, loading you the like I like doing it, but loading the dishwasher is a it's good a gift. That's there are some people. Front. You guys underestimate a good plastic plate and cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, save the environment. No more waste. No, I I, I'm <laughs> saying recycle them after, but yes. <laughs> yes. But I do appreciate somebody who knows that a big old pot like this doesn't go smack dab in the yes. center of the dishwasher. Yes. Oh my God. Be clean. Yes. Well, I think though this study <laughs> is really trying to say something deeper What's because that? I remember when I was living with one of my boyfriends. He always thought that I should do the cleaning. Mm -hmm. And to stereotype. me, yeah, and it was a stereotype, and that's what turned me off. So what's so the I, stereotype of what he should do? I mean, oh, for what he yeah, like he's supposed to do the yard work, take out the uh, trash, things uh, like that, you know. So it, I just didn't, I just didn't like the fact that he was making me and saying that I had to do it. Yeah, that's like what, you had a role right, in the relationship, right? And I think that should. might be what this is is more about. That's like, whack. you know, it's nice to 50, see a man 50. clean. Like you said, I mean, I don't like the division Adam and you <laughs> in the kitchen, but I and mean, his calves <laughs> flexing across. I mean, the yeah, he has yeah. amazing calves. Uh, you know, really? that's just. Just to just, you know, but I can understand. I think that it's cute. Like, if, what I do as a rule is if I'm out on a date and yeah. say I'm cooking in my house, I cook and I ask him to help with the dishes. Yeah. You know, or if he cooks, because I'm, there's a lot of guys that do like to cook, I'll mm -hmm. let them cook and then mm -hmm. I'll do the dishes. So it's like a trade off. Yeah, to I me, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think is hot? Yeah. I think it's hot. When a spouse knows what their partner doesn't like to do, and, and they, they just do step it. in and do it. That's yes. They know you don't like to do yes. X, Y, or Z, and they do it. X, 
some and without and even asking. Yes. Yes, I love that yeah, too. Yeah, that's so good. That's a love language right there. It's called acts of service. Yeah. Like, uh, how, like, what can you do when you wake up in the morning and you think to yourself, what can I do to make their day easier for them? Well, if this yeah. is going to make it easier for her or for him, I want to step up and do what it. What makes That's you beautiful. happy? That's when you yeah. know that you're in a good relationship. Absolutely. Yep. He's going to try to make you happy. You're going to try to make him happy, mm -hmm. and it works out. Okay, just and a random, be happy. Just a random <laughs> question, because there were so many women, our real fam out here, that was like, uh-huh, hate doing the dishes. If your man did the dishes and exchange, you served him at night sexually, would that make you happy? But it was. No. What do you think? It's, it's good. No. no, it's not. Interesting. So you don't think you should have to pay him that way. You just think he needs maybe, to jump in maybe, and do the dang dishes. Well, maybe, okay. and it's not so much a deal, yeah, right? Yeah. You, yeah. Just, you just see them doing it, and you naturally just get turned on. Okay. So you want to do okay. it. Gotcha. Do you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. This, this okay. girl was like, no, no, I want him to do the dishes and I don't want to give him nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no, okay, no. well, something else that can feel like a chore <laughs> oh, is attending God. someone's <laughs> wedding, which 30-year-old public relations manager Georgina Childs knows all about. Georgina told The Sun that she's currently broke after spending over $13,000 attending 20 of her friends' weddings over the past four years. Georgina says, I shudder when wedding invites arrive. I wish I could say no. But how do you tell your friends you just don't think their wedding is within your budget? Wow. Dude, so just like just that? Tell them, wow. okay. Just tell them like that. Ladies, Adrian, you feel some kind oh, of way. Oh, goodness. Should Georgina stop saying I do and start saying I won't when it comes to all these weddings? Is she paying for the weddings? <laughs> Why is this costing so much money? I Maybe mean, she's traveling a flight. It was on average like over six hundred dollars a flight. Like that's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. I thought the whole point of going to a wedding was you get a free meal. There's an open <laughs> bar. Like you should not be spending money. Yes, no, 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 no. Destination wedding, she needs, right? She needs a dress that she wears to the wedding. Find a little <laughs> LBD, a black little black dress. Call it a day. Like, dude, I, pull a Tiffany like, Haddish. Haddish, can Buy you that wear one the dress. same dress? So can you, <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, she was saying, one, that they were destination weddings, so yes. she was mm -hmm. paying a yes. lot in flights. Also, That's she said that the weddings that she were going to, um, everybody is like the same group of people, so she didn't want to wear the same dress because Tiffany she has to get over that. Yeah. If, if yeah. Yeah. Go broke judge her, you. you know I tell I mean? her, go to Ross and Marshalls and get you some inexpensive dresses. Yes. You know, yeah. like, yeah. Um, she needs to learn how to budget, maybe. Yeah. That's, yeah. What I, I that's ridiculous. I take it a step further, though. I think you shouldn't feel obligated to go to your friends every occasion, wedding, baby shower, everything, if you can't make it, whether financially or just because of time. I think just showing up in some way to show your support for what they're celebrating can be done on your own time. Yeah. I would love, if I can't make it to your wedding because I can't afford it, I would love to come over to your house and cook you guys dinner. You know yeah. what I mean? I would love to come you over what, and or I'm help put the favors together. Even if I can't go, like yes. I have friends that could not afford to go to Paris for my wedding. So instead yeah. they did other things with me. Like one of my girlfriends actually helped me. You guys know I typed out all of my vows and like I typed Israel 11 letters leading up to the wedding. She sat there with me for the two days before. She couldn't come, but she helped me type every single yeah. one of the letters. She contributed Shout out in some Tasha. kind of way. I love you, Tasha. I, I, I want to say, cool. yeah, and I my, friend, my friend, my <laughs> friend Sherry Shepard, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I'm going to put you on blast, Sherry, because Sherry got married, right? And uh -huh. her destination was Chicago. I already wasn't going to go because I didn't believe in the wedding. As she oh. knows it, she asked me to go. Yeah. I said, I'm not going because I just don't believe in it. And look, she got a divorce, so I was right. So I put you on blast. So. Uh, Lonnie, we're not even talking about that. Shouldn't spend money if you don't even think it's gonna last. Oh, Hell no, you definitely don't want to spend the money.